what's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. On V103. And it's time for the trending topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A lot of fisticuffs going on in this one. So, rumor has it uh, Shaquille O'Neal's under investigation for alleged assault which took place last May. According to a police report, Shaq is accused of punching a studio employee at TNT uh, in, inside the NBA where he works as a basketball analyst. Now, 44-year-old Robert Williams claims he was busy working when Shaq ran out of a room and knocked him to the ground, injuring my neck and my back. Ow, my neck and my back. He says he reported the incident to uh, Turner Studio Security, although he didn't go to the police until two months later. Really? Shaq's lawyer now playing the accusation, saying the whole thing was an innocent horseplay and never intended to hurt him. Um, O'Neal, uh, they, they say he was merely a victim of what's called the quote-unquote couch gag that Shaq routinely pulls on the show. So, we'll see what happens. Let's fast forward to another alleged fisticuff situation. Columbus Short, the one who plays uh, Gladiator Harrison right on Scandal, was involved, allegedly, in a bar fight in which the other guy ended up in a hospital and cops are now conducting a criminal investigation. Law enforcement sources say um, Columbus was at a bar and grill in L.A. on March 15th, around 1045, celebrating a couple's, not his couple, not whatever, a couple's engagement. When he started arguing at the bar with another party goer, we'll tell the other guy I got him so upset uh, by making me a comment along the lines of, quote, you might be richer than me, but I get my girls to buy me anything I want, including your wife. Okay, I'm just not there, but I don't have a wife, but I ought to punch you in the face myself. Eyewitness says Columbus then came up from behind him and sucker punched the guy. But if you turn your back on somebody after you tell them your wife is buying them something, you're going to get punched somewhere. I promise you, even though we do not condone violence right here at the People Station. Uh, <laughs> the eyewitness says the man's nose is broken and rendered unconscious for several minutes. You got knocked the out. We're told Columbus quickly left the bar, ambulance came, took him to the hospital, cops are investigating. That's what's up. Um, it's not the first time Columbus has used his fist to make a point. In March 2010, he was playing ball in an L.A. fitness gym where he got into an argument with another player, and he knocked him the out. Y'all better leave Columbus short alone. What they call Terminator? What, what they call Gladiators. Don't mess with the gladiators. And then there are a bunch of people in our last story that might want to punch Nick Cannon in the face. Apparently, he, uh, he, 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 he appeared on Instagram using whiteface. I know what you're saying. Think of what you're talking about. He put up a uh, Twitter and Instagram picture saying, it's official, I'm white. Uh, he's promoting his uh, album, White People Party Music. He says, racial draft, bro, I got drafted. Lots of people not finding so much humor in it. Vanity Fair says, quote, the world is cringing over the stunt. Jezebel says, the most eyebrow furrowing, hypnotic, hypnotizing, and kind of terrifying thing I've ever gazed into lately. Lots of people on the post accuse Cannon of being racist, racialist, ignorant, and hypocritical. Others defended him as hilarious. Uh, other people say, because uh, his Caucasian alter ego is Connor Smallnut. <laughs> I think it's funny I don't know Then he went a step further and posted Robert Downey Jr. in blackface in that movie Tropic Thunder Which I also love And said one of my favorite characters of all time I don't know, stop being so sensitive people I don't think he meant anything by it You know, it's one thing if people paint themselves And they try, you know what I'm saying It Was it ill intentions? I don't think so It's Nick Cannon, okay Nick Cannon I mean it's Nick Cannon Let's get back to uh, the show. Thank you for tuning in and turning up to the trending topics. Miss any part of this conversation, head on over to v-103.com where you can not only listen to it, you can also see my, I'm still in my own color face, face. Three things you need to know is happening next on V103.